Today we're going to be rebuilding my 8 outlet power box. I built this with parts I got off of Amazon and Home Depot and one of the relays on the relay board has gone out or is not working very well so we're going to go ahead and rebuild it. Let's get started. Okay let's start by going ahead and removing the cover. This is an item I could not find at Home Depot so I ended up having to order it off of Amazon. They seem to have only ones that went up to two outlets there. I'll go ahead and link to the outlet cover in my description. In fact, I'll link to all the parts that I got off of Amazon in the description. Okay. That's not good. Ah, uh, that's okay actually. This is powered by a Node MCU board with this custom connector that I made using, I took some existing jumper wires and I just used a little X-Acto knife to pry up the tab, remove them from there and stick them in this one. That way I could have exactly what I needed. Did the same thing on this side as well for the relay board. It makes the, replacing the relay board very easy. This box I got off of Amazon as well and I ended up just cutting a little hole here so that I could easily plug in a USB cable as well as run the wires through this little slot up here. I only just opened that to show you. Let's go ahead and close this up. It's just running with a standard Apple power adapter, which is a 1 amp one, and a little cheap USB cable that has the thin wire, so it's probably only the power wires. Did that to save space. Um, this is just the end off of an extension cord, although you could just get a plug at Home Depot and run the wires. It just happened to be that I was taking apart an extension cord just for all the wires. This allowed me to tap in to the power input that goes to all the other plugs and power off the MCU device. Remove this jumper, it's not needed. Go ahead and open up the top two screws of every relay. Now, like I mentioned before, I took these wires off of an extension cord and I went ahead and soldered each of them and cut them to about half a centimeter. 
The center wire of each of these relays goes to these wire nets. It's a, a set for each four relays, which goes into a 16 gauge wire. And that goes along with this plug and the input to the power. Made the black side of the ground, so I'll just match it with the ground. So the one that says JDVCC. I could tell because where the VCC comes in here, it goes along that bus connects to the middle pin here is VCC and I do not want this connected so it's the JD VCC that I'm powering by 5 volts because the node MCU runs on 3.3 volts used wire ties to hold these together so there wouldn't be an individual wire putting extra pressure on these caps. The wire going to the individual outlets themselves is about 16 gauge and the ones that are shared between each of the outlets is 14 gauge. Go ahead and test it. I'm using my phone to test each individual relay using the open tab control panel since it was already set up before. 
Next, with all the outlets set to on, I'm using my multimeter to test the voltage of each outlet to make sure it is showing 120 volts. A fun little fact is, I bought this multimeter when it was only 12 for $35. Looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And I like to look at info too. Because it gives me the IP address here. So I have the switch running Tasmoda firmware. I had uploaded it previously when I originally built it. I just plugged in a USB cable to the Node MCU. Well, I configured it in Arduino and then I, following various instructions online, then I configured it as a generic model and then I uploaded it using a micro USB cable and put it in there. I have it plugged in now. So I'm going to grab the IP address. I already have the IP address plugged in. I can hit refresh. And one, re one way I can test to make sure that we don't have a faulty relay is to have them all on at the same time, which is going to use up the most current. And then one by one, try turning it off and on and listen for the clicks. and it looks like all of them are functioning great. I was worried I'd have to go a little bit more in depth and desolder a relay from one board and move it over to another board, but fortunately I don't need to do that. So in the configuration here, what I did is I just I set it up as a generic module, and then I had already mapped out which GPIO just by looking at a pinout of the Node MCU and traced it to each of the relays. And so you, the way I have the relay set up is inversed. So I selected, for instance, for GPIO 0, I selected relay 6 inverse or relay 6i. And if you had it as the regular, then it would just turn, it would say it's on, but it would actually be off on the relay. And the reason you have to do inverse is because of this relay module, low equals on. So by inverting it, it makes the output to the relay module low and counts as on in the Tasmoda firmware. So that looks all good. I just I have GPIO zero set as LED one inverse because same deal. And nothing for GPIO one or sixteen. The order that I have it is for relay one is GPIO three, two, fifteen, three, thirteen, four, twelve, five, fourteen, six, zero. Relay 7 is GPIO 4 and 8 is GPIO 5. Now, if you decide to wire it up any differently than I did, that's great. Just change it appropriately. Go ahead and hit save. Even though I didn't change anything, it goes and reboots. But I now have it all working. I went ahead and I stuck labels onto each of the outlets that correspond to their output. You know, let me make sure I didn't hook this up backwards. So I'm gonna put on the multimeter. Let's 
by turning off outlet one, and it goes to zero volts, or pretty low at least. It has, it's jumping between like 1.8 and 4 volts. But I turn it on and it goes to 127. Looks like I got them all lined up correctly. If you are unsure, you could go through and test them one by one. However, I was looking at the wires as I put the outlets in their places, so I was pretty sure I had it right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any, on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.